In technique 27 of the Go Press and Foil series, I'm going to show you a really quick and simple way of making distressed backgrounds. Uh, I'll initially take you through the process, but after that, obviously, lots of experiments will give you lots of different results. Now, I'm using some basic white cardstock around 240 GSM plus a bit of hot foil, and I'm starting by scrunching and rolling that foil up in the palms of my hands. The heat from my hands is going to remove some of that foil and leave us with a crackle effect. So we'll open that out again, and this is the adhesive side, so it looks silver at the moment. I'll just get you a closer look of that. Now we're going to position that with the adhesive side faced down onto a piece of card, and then we'll position another piece of card on top of that. They are going to go into my Go Press and Foil machine underneath the thick metal shim. That's been heating up for a while now, so I just need to make sure it's you know quite warm as we pass it through our Go Cut and Emboss die cutting machine. Once you've finished passing it through your die cutting machine, just give the foiling a little bit of a burnish with your finger perhaps, just rub all over the surface. And when ready, just rub your finger gently over one corner of the foil and you can peel back the carrier sheet, which pretty much has no foil left on it. This is the result that I got on that first pass. It looks amazing and catches the light really well. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to add a second colour. Now you could add more than two colours, in fact you could go as wild and crazy as you wanted. Just for the t sake of time though on this video I'm going to stick with just two colours. So I will crack on and do exactly the same as I did before. So first I'll scrunch, then I'll sandwich and then I'll churn. That's our second pass now through. Again, just a quick burnish, and then I will peel back the layer of foil. And there we have two colours overlaying each other, and they look quite amazing. While I have the die cutting machine out, I may as well cut a section of this so that you can get a better idea of how it would look when you die cut something like this out. Just a regular sandwich for thin metal cutting dies. 
and then I will whiz that through the die cutting machine. And there we have it, an awesome, fabulously distressed foil coin. Here's a closer look at how that turned out. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give me a like, a thumbs up. And of course, if you would like to know about any future videos that I upload about the Go Press and Foil or any other kind of arts and crafts, please do subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell to receive notifications. That's it for now. Thank you very much and I will see you again next time.